Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and what I would like to do today is have some uh, trash talk with you. No, no, I'm not going to use any offensive words or swear. Uh, what I would like to talk about is the concept of the recycle bin and explain to you how recycle bin works in SharePoint. So let me explain what I have here. I have a, an Office 365 group site and I have a document library. And what we're going to do is we are going to delete some documents and then I'll show you how to easily restore them. Now, you know, let me first talk about the recycle bin at a high level. So um, every SharePoint site, uh, whether it's a, you know, a classic SharePoint site, uh, a, a modern SharePoint site like an Office 365 group, a uh, connected site or a communication site, each site has a recycle bin. Uh, now, anything you delete ends up in the recycle bin. And when I say anything, I literally mean anything. Uh, if you delete uh, a document, uh, a file or a folder, it goes to the recycle bin. You can actually delete, um, you know, web parts like, you know, the whole document library or even um, a custom list or any other apps that you have, any other, you know, custom lists or any other, um, you know, out of the box apps. Anything you delete ends up in the recycle bin. And the good news is you can restore it. The good news is you can easily restore it. As a matter of fact, any team member uh, of the site, you don't even need to be an admin, uh, anyone can restore the content. That's the good news. The bad news is you only have 93 days to do so. All right. So from the time you delete, uh, count 93 days, uh, and then the the, the stuff, the, the content is gone forever, right? Um, so um, after you delete, once again, count 93 days. Uh, after that, uh, you cannot recover the content, uh, uh, it, it, you know, uh, using any method, out of the box method that is available, all right? So um, at that point, pretty much what uh, Microsoft does, they purge uh, the recycle bin uh, for all the documents uh, that uh, have been in the recycle bin for more than 93 days. So, um, so yeah, something definitely something important to remember. Um, now, let me show you how recycle bin works. It's uh, pretty straightforward. So, um, you know, typically you would have a link uh, to the recycle bin. Um, if it's a, a modern, you know, team site, just like I, what I have, uh, there is the, the link to the recycle bin would be over here on the left hand side. Uh, if it's a communication site, right, you don't have this left-hand side uh, navigation menu. Uh, and in order to access the uh, recycle bin on a communication site, uh, remember on communication site, uh, actually, let me pull an example of a communication site so I can uh, show it to you. Let me just open another uh, tab and uh, I will uh, demonstrate this to you. So here is my communication site. As you can see, there is no left-hand side navigation and out of the box, there is no link to the recycle bin in the in the menu uh, that comes standard with the communication site. So in order to access, and by the way, in order to, if you don't happen uh, not to have uh, a recycle bin link uh, on your site for whatever reason, maybe, you know, it was removed somehow, uh, here is how to, to gain access. Here is how to access recycle bin if you don't have any links. Um, gear icon, site contents, and look at this, uh, recycle bin would be uh, in the upper right hand corner just above, you know, all the different, uh, you know, web parts and everything. So that's how you access a recycle bin in case if you don't happen to have a link uh, for whatever reason uh, on your site. All right, in any case, so um, yeah, that's how you access the, 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 the recycle bin itself. And um, um, yeah, let me go ahead and delete some documents. All right, let me go ahead and delete some documents. So. I'm just going to delete a few docs, maybe, um, um, you know, a few files, maybe even, uh, you know, this folder. All right. So a user deletes the documents. They're gone. They're gone from the library. Uh, obviously, they're not gone forever just yet. Uh, and what um, you can do to restore it, you just go to the recycle bin. So let me click on the recycle bin. And here we go. I mean, this are a few documents I deleted. Um, uh, deleted, uh, you know, previously, these are the three 
um, three um, items I deleted, uh, a folder uh, plus a couple of files I deleted just now. And it shows you and it shows you where the information was deleted from, who deleted it, uh, and also that they deleted. All right. Now, what's interesting, and that's something that has changed quite recently because it was not, it did not behave, um, you know, like that before. Um, it doesn't matter who deletes the stuff. So it doesn't matter. So you see, I'm I'm a site owner. I happen to be a site owner of this uh, of this accounting uh, you know team site, and I also have another member, uh, Mary. Let's wait till it loads. So I have another member, you know, Mary. You know, she is my um, uh, she is the member of my team site. I'm not sure why it takes uh, such a long time to load. Okay, here we go. So I'm the owner. Mary is a regular team member. And what's interesting is that it doesn't really matter who deletes the stuff. Any regular team member, any regular team member of the site can easily restore anyone else's content as well. So let me prove this to you. So I just deleted this few items. Uh, I will now go to, uh, to a different uh, browser instance. I'm logged in as Mary here. And, you know, Mary, of course, has access to everything else on the site. And if Mary happens to go to the recycle bin, look at this. She will obviously, she will also see the same items I just deleted. Not only that, not only that, Mary can also restore it on my behalf. All right. So you can easily restore your own stuff. But, you know, bear in mind, bear in mind that anyone else can also restore uh, uh, the content you deleted as well. So let me actually um, prove this to you. So um, Mary, you know, is kind enough to restore all of these items I just deleted. So it's pretty pretty easy to do. Um, you just literally hit the check boxes and hit restore, and it goes back to the original location, the original you know library uh, where it came from. So obviously, information has gone from the recycle bin. And if we happen to go, actually, let's go straight to the uh, document library. Here we go. As you can see, everything is back. All the files I, and, and a folder I just deleted, everything is back. So pretty powerful stuff. Now, um, and, and by the way, if you had a, a version history on documents, um, and, I, I, and I published a, a, a video on, on versioning uh, uh, some time ago, you can check it on my YouTube channel. Uh, everything is back. I mean, essentially, when you restore it from the recycle bin, it's as if nothing has happened. Now, uh, let me show you another cool trick, and that sometimes com com comes in handy uh, if um, if users utilize OneDrive Sync. Uh, let me explain. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure within your organization, uh, users are synchronizing the um, the libraries to their desktops. And um, I have already synchronized, so I have this library on my C drive. As you can see, it's right over here. I synchronized my document library through OneDrive Sync, and here we go. We have, I have a bunch of you know this the the, the same files and folders uh, as I have in SharePoint. They are on my C drive. Now, it's quite common, unfortunately, uh, for users to make a mistake and um, and accidentally delete stuff. Um, that is synchronized from their C drive. So, so what happens often is that users uh, accidentally delete uh, files and folders from their C drive, from their synchronized, um, you know, folders on their C drive, and you know, thinking that they they are just you know cleaning up space on their C drive. But what happens is that uh, because the library is synchronized, it's a two-way sync, right? So when they delete stuff in the on the C drive, it actually automatically instantly deletes it in SharePoint as well. So let me demonstrate this to you. So um, you know I'm going to delete this um, you know client documents. Let's see if I have anything in here. Yeah, I have a bunch of stuff in here. Good. So I'm going to delete this particular folder over here. I press the delete button. Gone. It's gone from my C drive. What do you think will happen to this folder in my SharePoint instance? Look at this. It's gone instantly. Why? Because it's a two-way sync. All right. It's a two-way sync. 
So what happened to this folder? Where is it? Well, guess what? It's in the recycle bin. Let's go to the recycle bin and look at this and look at this. Uh, here is the folder I just deleted. I did not delete it from SharePoint. I deleted it from my, you know, C drive, but because it's synchronized, right? It obviously deleted it in from SharePoint document library and in turn, everything ended up in the recycle bin. So once again, the good news is uh, if your users accidentally uh, delete something from their synchronized document libraries, don't worry, everything can be easily restored uh, from um, from the recycle bin. So if you notice, um, you know, the only thing that's kind of annoying here is that what happened, uh, I, I deleted just this folder, right? But as you can see, it actually, uh, for whatever reason, and I'm not sure if it's a bug or uh, that's how it's supposed to work, it doesn't make, really make sense to me, but it pretty much surfaced up the contents of this folder as separate line items. You see, all of this, you know, if I just restore this client, you know, docs, the, the folder I deleted, let me actually restore it for you. Uh, it's not going to restore the contents of that folder. So if I go back, remember how I had a, a bunch of stuff in that folder? Well, <laughs> all it did, it just restored the, the main folder, <laughs> but it don't restore the contents of that folder. Uh, and I wish it did. Uh, once again, I'm not sure if it's, it's a bug. It kind of doesn't make sense the way it behaves, right? Uh, so, and it, this only this only behaves like this if you delete the synchronized uh, library. So if you delete a folder uh, with the contents underneath from SharePoint just by clicking delete button, it actually just um, you know lists just one line item, uh, and by restoring the top level, it restores everything. So here, unfortunately, we have to kind of you know you know highlight each of the. Uh, items that are, uh, uh, you know, were part of this folder and restore them manually. Okay, and restore it manually. And now if I go back, here we go, uh, my folder is back as, as well as, you know, everything that's uh, that was inside of this folder. All right. Now, uh, another thing I want to cover um, uh, about the recycle bin is what happens, what happens if users end up uh, cleaning up, you know, essentially uh, deleting stuff from the recycle bin, right? You know how on your computer you can delete stuff, it goes to your computer recycle bin and then you can empty your recycle bin. Well, what happens if our users do that? Well, let me show you. So I'm, once again, I'm going to log in as, uh, as Mary. And Mary, uh, Mary decided, you, you know, to delete some files. Here we go, all right. So Mary goes to her recycle bin and she wants to empty it, all right? So as you can see, her recycle bin contains some of the items that uh, I deleted uh, as well as, you know, some of the items that Mary just deleted as well. And Mary just wants to empty the recycle bin for whatever reason. So she clicks empty recycle bin. Look at this, it's empty now. So now, uh, Mary can no longer restore content, all right? Uh, what about me? I'm the site owner. So let me go to my environment. Let me, let me check it out. Oh, look at this. You know, Mary emptied the recycle bin and guess what happened? It's empty for everyone now. So how can we restore this, right? I mean, because we had this 93 days and Mary just deleted something today and you know, she went in and emptied her recycle bin. What can we do? Well, in this case, we have a concept of a second stage recycle bin. And you can actually access it over here on the in the lower part of your screen. This is only accessible to site admins. So essentially, if you are a site owner uh, with full control or a site admin, you know, essentially, uh, you need to be the site collection admin. That's what it is. But if you are, you will have access to secondary stage recycle bin. This is only accessible by site admins, again, once again, not regular team members. So um, once again, I'm going to click on the secondary stage recycle bin. And look at this, I have access to everything. Essentially all the, uh, it, it's, it will say right here, secondary stage recycle bin. 
and then I pretty much have access to everything, everything that um, was uh, deleted by my users after they have emptied their recycle bins. So here's a scenario for you. If, if Mary deleted something today, and let's say in three days she decided to empty her recycle bin, the stuff will reside in the secondary stage recycle bin for another 90 days, right? Remember, it's 93 days total. So uh, we still have time to restore content uh, within those 93 days, even if the users just, you know, had a bad day and decided, <laughs> you know, to delete a bunch of stuff and empty the recycle bin. So I can still go ahead as an admin, right? And restore uh, stuff on my user's behalf even if they, you know, uh, on purpose, uh, uh, by accident, uh, it decided to delete it. Okay. Now, one other trick I want to show you is, obviously, it's a big concern, you know, what's happening, you know, right, because we have this 93 days, and after that, the stuff is gone. You know, I am a site owner, how do I, how do I make sure that, um, you know, you know, I, I worry about my content, how do I make sure that people don't accidentally uh, on purpose, you know, delete the content, uh, you know, that is, you know, that is uh, part of our department or project. What you can do, and as a matter of fact, anyone can do it, and I think I even published a, a, a video on the topic. Uh, what you can do as a site owner or any team member uh, can do it as well, you can create alerts. All right, so what you can do is you can create an alert. And uh, you can pretty much set up an alert and you can set up an alert and be notified about deletions, right? You probably don't need to be notified about any changes, right? Uh, so you don't get a lot of emails and spam, uh, but you can be notified about deletions. And you can set up a frequency, maybe, you know, get a summary once a day or once a week, right? You will have plenty of time to restore it just in case. Uh, but the idea behind this alert is that you will get email notifications anytime somebody deletes, uh, deletes a document or a folder. And once again, it doesn't have to be instant notification, um, probably a daily summary or a weekly summary where you can read the report and see uh, if someone deleted, I don't know, 100 documents or, or something, you might question them. But that's a great technique. Um, it, it doesn't take much you know, to, to set this up, but uh, um, you can obviously set it up if you worry about your content. Uh, so you can kind of keep an eye on on your content and you know at least have some time to recover it uh, just in case all right so i think that's all i wanted uh, to cover today uh, as far as the recycle bin is concerned hopefully you learned something new today and i really appreciate your time uh, and um, uh, thank you for uh, watching my youtube videos and i also hope to see you again on my blog sharepointmaven.com thank you very much goodbye